Okay, look, so I've been watching a lot of the reviews on Halloween Ends and just hearing all these people talk Ooh. <laughs> about how it's just not the greatest in the franchise. And as a Halloween lover, fan, I'm a filmmaker. I was inspired to become an actor as well. Because I saw this film as a child, I was changed. Just probably like a bunch of you guys out there clicking this. Halloween Ends, though it may not be perfect, it may not be exactly what we wanted, but it's kind of like, don't give the audience what they want give them what they need um and jamie lee curtis and her legacy i'm sure this is what she wanted to leave behind she wanted to leave a door open for others because she knows true evil never dies unfortunately but she wanted to let it rest in peace solid um and i think that there's still a lot of options that just like Michael could come back. I don't think it just necessarily has to be that going forward it's a new, it's like a ghost face and it's like scream. That's not what I'm looking for from Halloween. I want Michael Myers. I don't want the shape. Oh, it's the shape. The shape is it. No. Freddy Krueger with the demon of nightmares is where they're going to start possessing people and now everybody's going to go into dreams if they're like a pet. And Jason, every time someone gets drowned, it'll be a new person in a hockey mask or a cloth sack and their mom will start it off and all that too. So like, no, 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 no. We want Michael Myers. That's him up here. And it's been Michael Myers since, what, 1978? I like seeing the other people in the mask pop up but it's really all about michael delivering the damage you know he's here to bring the pain and we're here along for the ride i will stop blabbering and just say disappointed there wasn't a lot of michael i think everybody's heard that they had the other guy in the film doing most of the work michael doesn't work with people no 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 he don't work with nobody he don't work with nobody and nobody is gonna trick him and nobody is gonna overpower him and take his mask from him. Laurie Strode didn't overpower him, she just took his mask off and that made him take his defenses down. That effing punk beat up Michael Myers and took his mask, y'all. That was disrespectful. The film has a little bit of an unforgivable quality in that way. Then I love the John Campion show. And one of the things my guy, Robert Meyer Burnett said, and John said it too, they should have leaned into the, the quote they had, oh, every time someone, he kills someone, he becomes stronger and stronger. Well, then, yeah, so lean into that. That's good. We'd like to see that. We didn't want to see geriatric Michael Myers. I get, okay, it's a new take. You know, we're saying he is aged. But no, you're not. He just beat up an entire fire department. And Lori, baby, Lori, we love you, but, like, I think you're a little bit disconnected. You know, he only killed your friends last time, and... You were ready to go all superhero. Um, <laughs> and he killed your daughter. He killed your daughter and you just like, forgot it, I gotta move on. He's out there, that's fine, I'm not gonna be scared. What? Uh, hello? I'm and you didn't move up to town, you got your granddaughter there, what's going on? And then you're setting her up with this guy? Aye, Lori, Lori, what's up with you? You going through it, girl. And I hate to judge a movie on what it's not, but I would have loved some cameos if it's really Halloween ends, even though we know it's not. But the cameos, come on. Art girl, Danielle Harris, would have been fabulous to make a cameo. Give her some a redemption, the way they screwed her over with Halloween 6, whacking her off in the beginning. They could have brought her back, give her her Andrew Garfield moment, you know? We love that. And even Halloween 3 with Taylor Compton, that never happened. If she would have made a cameo, that would have been cool. And I think, especially if it's going to pay off in a cool way, if it's not going to be like Doctor Strange 2, that was not so great with the cameos. But generally... Hello, if you saw Spider-Man No it Way Home, made it made a bajillion be a dollars. Pretty great business. So I was a little disappointed that no one thought of anybody cool to bring. Like, we already had Lindsay, you know, Beverly Hills Lady. That was fine. But some other characters that were actually around while Jamie Lee was absent would have been great. We didn't need what we got exactly. I enjoyed it for what it was. We want to see someone who's so powerful he can freaking shove a freaking chainsaw into a firefighter into the air let him have it 
he did that in Halloween Kills, and then Laurie beats him up with a fire extinguisher and Halloween ends. And Laurie, why weren't you better prepared? He's now missing after he killed your daughter. And you don't, you're not prepared, you're not worried, you're not thinking, you just got a gun hanging around. And then what was it that you called in a suicide? Was the suicide, was that her thinking ahead that she was going to kill the other person and blame, let him get blamed for himself? Evil last tonight and I ain't taking the blame for it unless it's actual Michael Myers and then everybody will celebrate me because that other kid, I don't want his drama because he got blamed for the stuff and she ain't trying to go down his way. Are you guys following me? I'm sorry. Well, I love all the Halloween films. I love all of them. Oh, no, if you know this, I don't own Halloween 3. I don't exactly love all of them. I'm sure you guys can relate. You know, Halloween ended good with this one. Halloween age 2 You know? Why didn't you get your son back? Now look at that. We had Michelle Williams, Oscar winner. But there's a such thing as giving away moments. I believe that. I don't think it would have been giving away Laurie's moment, though, in this case. If it was all the final girls together, I think the fans would have went crazy. You know, we're the ones who watch this thing year round when it's not halloween we know who's who met up with all the other final girls and they just watched michael die tonight or whatever <laughs> it would have been cool just to see some familiar faces um bit of due to the franchise but i won't harp on that forever i must move on probably watch it a bunch more times it ups the replay value i think you know, horror films are meant to print money because they're cheap to make, essentially. They get a lot of return. This film already had an 80% drop in its second week, which is one of the, on the top 13 of all time drops in second weeks. And we didn't want to see her die. We didn't want to see you die, Jamie, okay? Because she's been through enough. This is just a rant about Halloween ends. I still think people should see it and make their own decision. And I definitely look forward to buying the whole trilogy and owning it and having it right there on my horror shelf. You know, The Grudge, let's talk about it, Sarah Michelle Geller. Just come back. And hello. Hello, Jennifer Love Hewitt. What are you doing? Why is there no official I Know What You Did Last Summer Part 3? Awesome. Oh, my God. That's so funny. I said the real I Know What You Did Last Summer Part 3 because there was one and I own it. <laughs> I want to own Part 2. Which I, I adore. I really did become a filmmaker and actor inspired by watching Halloween. And in particular, Halloween H2O. And H2O was good. And it seemed a little bit like Halloween ends treaded that water. I mean, the whole trilogy tread the same water. I ignored the ne other films. We need the legacy characters. That would have been awesome. I think, you know... I would film that scene, which wouldn't cost that much money, and just put it at the end, make an alternate ending with other survivors. I think that's cool. You guys just call me, I'll write it for you. You guys are the best. We'll talk more. It's Halloween pretty soon, next Monday actually, and everyone's entitled to a good scare. Watch all the Halloween films, then watch Halloween ends. And get that scare. But I do own audiobooks that are like, 40 hours long that I recommend you guys all take a look at. Taking Shape Volume 1 and then Volume 2 is awesome because it's all about like the films that were never made and you can even see how it all just like trickles into some of the other films. People have other ideas.